Well. Oh. More. Always more, huh? Can't just give me like two inches of space. This game needs to chill out. Alright, um, where is it? This is Xerxes. Primary data loop infiltrated. Primary data loop infiltrated. You have you you, you have accomplished much for a thing of such small consequence. Warning. Now proceed to the recreation deck. Do not dawdle. I lust for my revenge. Keeping an eye out. So far we're quiet. That's a good sign. Oop. No, thank you. Bidding. Why did I grab that? <laughs> Just reflexively grabbed what was on them. Let's not do that. Let's see. We got a decent amount of cash. Maybe I should visit a store. Um. Replicators are R. All oh, right. <laughs> Let's. I wonder where it is on the map. Let's take a look around, and it's right in front of me. The heck's a recycler? What's a... What is a... I'm just gonna look this up. I'm just gonna look it up. So the recycler allows you to sell things and just... that's it. <laughs> you get the ability to actually sell things on the spot, which could be really useful for getting more nanites. Hi there. Although whether or not I'll get the selection. 75 back is a little up in the air. Eh. I know how to find out. Oopsie. That was a lot of weird noises at once. All right. Shit. Bastards have to take two shots to kill. Let's try this. Shotgun. Ah. Uh, Recycler. I have 478. Doesn't work, I guess. Bottle of alcohol. 479. That was not a big deal, was it? Uh, where's my hypo stems? Sci hypos. I went from 478 to 415. So I got about 40 for selling my Psy Hypos. So like two, it's like two nanites per item, basically. Which is not really much. I guess you can't sell weapons? Aw. That seems like it'd be really useful to be able to sell every shotgun I get. We have unresearched objects still, proximity grenades. Maintenance tool, radiation hypo, the speed booster. I haven't been using those either. Rar, 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 rar. If it's not clear, I'm not save keeping the save. I just wanted to see what stuff I could actually sell. Not that. Really arbitrary, isn't it? So if I sold everything in my inventory, I'd get like another half thousand basically out of it. But selling the things I do want to sell in my inventory, especially since you can't sell weapons, only ends up making me like. Hi there. Please make your selection. Fuck. Yeah. Oh shit. No like. Wow, that's a chore. <laughs> People have been getting on me for not using my melee anymore. Wow, that's miserable, trying to use melee there. I prefer not. So is he gonna keep coming back or not?
Guess who's getting tired of that guy? That's just research, right? Yeah. I guess I could sell those if I had the ability. Hi there. Please I just... make your selection. Huh. I don't know, it doesn't seem immediately worth it. But I guess I can I guess I can sell the garbage items. Let's do it. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Thank you for, cho thank you for choosing value wrap. Might as well stock up on some stuff, otherwise why do I even have why even have an inventory, right? I mean why I mean why even have currency? Alright, so I grabbed some of these things. So I'll recycle those. You can't recycle the organs. Alright. That's too bad. I'll, re I'll recycle the Psy Hypos, I think. Eh. Uh, maybe hold off on that. I don't think I'm gonna use the Psy items. But I, f but I feel like that's a that might be a bit of a thing to a mistake to do. In case I change my mind in the future about how I'm gonna run this character or something, that could, that could be a little rough. But now, uh, instead of consuming food for one, one healing point, uh, I can at least sell those for like two nanites, and then, yeah, over the course of the game, that should make its money back at the very least, if not an actual profit over time. Yeah, unfortunately, these. Research items cannot be recycled. Uh, I just I feel like I should I feel like I should take the item with me mostly because it exists, and the fact that there even it even exists in the game makes it feel like it must be worth ha having. Otherwise, why include it in the game, right? Welcome back. Let's see here, Psy booster, expert tech implant. Hack repair and modify, right. Psy booster. I don't even remember what that does. Increase your psi stat for by one for five minutes. Yeah. There's some weird trinkets around here. Very t I think I You know what? I'm going for it. Screw it. Boom. Boom. There we go. I'll take the money for that. And we'll uh just witness the uh experience of my audience screaming. At the, uh, at what I've done. It's the MP rifle. Stasis generator. Here's the weird unresearched object. Let's get this out of the way so I can actually see past it. Okay. Swift boost, brown boost, swift boost, side boost. Damn it. I had a... I had one that was good for researching, right? I must have dumped it somewhere, and I gotta figure out where that is now. Goody! Because I want to research these guys. That involves researching... Ah! That's not how you pick things up at all. That was a weird mistake to make. Let's see here. Research skill of four. My research skill is currently at... Oh, it's over here. Two. I could buy the ranks if I want to. I, ha I have the points now that I could. Ah! Oh. That's what it sounds like when you walk on them. Weird. Um, undecided a little bit, but I do have 40 points to spend, so maybe I should just go into research to get the ability? I left an implant somewhere. If I can find my research implant. If I can just find my research implant, then I can increase my research by one. In which case, all I need to do is uh, put one more point into the stat itself. I want to get the two... Uh, I want to get the one that gives, that gives me two uh, implant slots, but I don't know where I left that is the problem. There's my game cartridge. Was it a hydro? At the very least, this is where my video game console is, I think. Lab assistant. You coming? Go away. Video games! Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I found my lab assistant. So there's that. So I can use you to give me one more point. But I need four. 
So I probably want to put more one more point into it too. Upgrades are like in the next room over. That might be the one I need. Hi there. Thank you. Oops. I'll take those nanites. I'll put you in the recycler. There we go. And that's how you make tiny amounts of money over long periods of time, apparently. Okay. I really hope I haven't missed one of these. It'd be hard to tell at this point. There we go, another point to research. Should I go further into hacking? Or maintenance? That's really expensive. I might go further into hacking. No, let's save up for weapon skills at this point. I don't know what the actual benefit of more points in hacking would be besides maybe some increased efficiency, I guess. Alright, so research implant will give me an extra slot. We go back to operations. Ah, right. This, this problem. Alright. I'm gonna put the laser pistol on the ground for now. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Now I should be able to research this, right? Needed chemicals, why? Shit. I really wish there was a specialized tab just for the, uh... the chemical collections we found so far. That should be a thing. That should absolutely be a thing. They should just have a tab for the chemical, uh... Chemical... Shit, where is it? Sim units... Chemical Manifest, yeah. Yttrium. Yttrium is on the Ops Chem area, okay. That was where? It's conveniently on this map! That, that was probably intentional. I bet you that was intentional. Put the, uh... Put the, uh, chemical research, uh... Storehouse on the same map as the elevator so that people can find it by going to that floor and checking their map. As opposed to trying to figure out which of the many, many maps of this floor it might have been stashed away on. Ah! No like. Let's see. Wait, where's my pistol? Oh, right. This guy. Thank you. Guess who's getting sick of spiders? Guess who's getting sick of spiders? That's not a charging station. You tricked me, life. I don't want to fight you. Go away. Ah! Ow. Rude. No, just let me pick it up in my hand first. Ah, this inventory is crap. <laughs> it's just designed to be mildly exasperating at all times. Here we go. I just wish you could. I wish you could carry something in your hand while the inventory screen is open, just so you could physically rearrange it with other things that are in your inventory without having to fight for it. There we go. That's, that's what I need. Oh, timing. Just got here, too. Oh, wow. That's some quick researching, too. And soon I'll be done with this implant. Definitely want to keep it on the floor next to the elevator so I can find it again in the future. Go, 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 go. Do I have any more healing items? I mean, I know I have the hypos. I was checking to see if I have the weird goopy bits. I don't think I do. All right, let's do that. Research has been completed. What's the report? Crystal Shard. A very dangerous hand-to-hand -hand weapon. It requires an exotic skill of one in order to wield. This crystal, principally of silicon, but doped with germanium and other unknown trace elements, appears to have a very have a resonant frequency very close to that of neural propagation. The crystal probably serves as a repeater for the psionic abilities of the annelid creatures. The, cre the crystal structure is composed of thousands of close-together crystal needles attached together in a close-branching, nearly fractal tree. 
Recommendation, the crystal's amazing sharpness makes it a very dangerous hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Okay. So that could, that could replace the wrench then for me. If I need an exotic weapon skill of one. That shouldn't be a big deal. Let's put my extra, th dirt, extra inventory space thing back on. This stuff's back where it belongs, because I believe that... I believe I got that spare chemical from this room, so now it's back where it belongs, and I don't have to keep track of that again. Um... I would like to find an upgrade station. Oh, the lounge. Um, upgrade stations are here. And that's located somewhere. Oh, six. Over there in the middle. Okay, it's on my way back. Convenient. So we'll go visit six. I'll learn to use exotics. I'll put this exotic weapon on. Probably put the wrench away. Something. That'll hopefully lead to me doing some proper damage in the future. I hear bad things. Oh! Ah! No. No like. No like. Ooh! Why, thank you. Hi there. Please make your selection. Damn, those are expen- Bullets are really expensive. Or they just feel expensive. But I mean, like, there's only so many things to spend money on in the first place, so I guess it's not completely crazy what the cost might be. So right here should be the lounge. Here we go. We safe up here? Where you at, buddy? You coming up here? Let's recharge. Exotic. There we go. I can now use this guy. Vrachaka! Spiky thing, apparently. So I should put this away. I think we're done with wrenches now. If it's supposed to be an effective weapon, I'm just using some random wrench this whole time. Where'd they map it to, though? It's the freaking dash? It's not even a number, it's the dash after all the numbers. Meanwhile, now one is forever mapped as wrench. I gotta be able to remap that, right? Controls. Customize controls. There we go. So wrench is one. Let's make crystal shard one. There we go. And we don't want to, we don't need pistol anymore, so let's make our assault rifle two. This will fuck up future playthroughs, although I think, I think I can probably go back to defaults, I hope. But who knows if I ever even make another playthrough of this game, so. Right now I just want my controls to not be crap. Done. So it goes one, two, one, three, four is still that, awkwardly. I should make four of the grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. Four. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Look at that. Look at my controls making sense. The actual weapons I'm using are all mapped to the primary number, so I don't have to sit there and search for them. Let's put you in there, so you don't take up space anymore. You have to right-click on it. Whoops. Look at all those games I got. Wow, how many games are there if they're floating that far down the list? Oh, well, I haven't looked at any of these games forever. Why not, right? Let's finally try out some of the silly pig games we have access to. So I did Swinekeeper. This was just Minekeeper. I have to close it now, don't I? There we go. Off World's Overworld Zero. What the actual hell? Oh, I'm that guy. What am I doing? Deliver this to Zex. Oh, it's a roguelike, isn't it? Everybody's moving by one every time I do something. You were seen. You got five experience. Thanks for the package. I delivered the thing to Zex. Oh my god. I'm a good friend. 
Player did four damage. Bat has died. Two experience. Bat missed. Player missed. Bat missed. Nearby monsters are enraged. This is a roguelike. Whoa. Whoa. This is super interesting because roguelikes... Like, rogue was a thing. But... And I could be wrong, but it, it feels like roguelikes were not a thing anyone cared about for a super long time until, like, indie games more recently, mainly on PC, suddenly started making roguelikes constantly. And then suddenly everyone started caring a whole lot more about roguelikes out of the blue when, for the longest time, it was a super niche thing and it suddenly became a pretty popular thing. And this appears to be that, more or less. Everyone moves one tile at a time, Everyone and you have a... Yeah... It even has a high score and everything. Yeah, that, that's interesting. I can hack my... Th with, a sick, with a hack skill of 6, you can hack your freaking... That's absurd. You can hack your... Your pig. Alright. Well, that was a thing. Ah, crap, crap. Street hog. Oh, it's Frogger. Oh. The controls over which direction you're gonna go when you click is is weird. Let's see, can you control it with arrow keys? No. I think you have to control it with clicks, which is super unfortunate actually. But I don't like I don't like a uh, frogger anyway. Swine hunter. What? Oh it follows your mouse. What am I doing? Do you oh pew pew oh I died. So you like do you shoot the uh, you shoot the enemy vehicles. Do I also shoot the pig I saw? Or like crash into it or something? Oh, it's probably Spy Hunter. I've never played Spy Hunter, so I don't know what it looks like, but I think it involves cars. And and uh, I assume that they're all puns of video games. So Swine Hunter is probably Spy Hunter, I would guess. Yeah. Overworld Zero. Offworld Zero? Offworld... I, I, wonder, I wonder what the name of that game is specifically referencing. Because I don't know what that one is. Roadhog, probably, would be street... No, it's not Street Hog. Yeah, this is Frogger, and they're calling it Roadhog, so they're not necessarily puns then, because that's not even a similar name. Well, now I want to hack it. But I only have a hack skill of four. Crap. An implant could take me to hack skill of five, but that's not far enough. It's probably just some dumb game, but part of me wants to find out. But I also don't want to invest in what it would require to get there. Alright, well, now we've experienced some of that silliness for a little longer. Let's try beating somebody with my weird stick. Are you scad yet? You should be. Now I've got a reason to pick all these up. So I can really awkwardly drag it to the, each of those things one by one and spend that time. There must be a lot of video game cartridges if, that me if the number of gaps in that menu is meant to indicate anything. Going the right way? Yep. Alright, we're ready to go to, to a new floor now. Ah! Running, running, running! Ah! I can't catch him. There we go. I did it. I did it, everyone. I hit them in the face with a nightmare stick. And I did a good. Praise me. 420, praise it. Alright, so that one's useless then, because that's, that's just a duplicate of the same thing. I thought I needed to have both, but I do not. I'm gonna leave the toy on the, on the floor again, because carrying all this stuff around is a problem. We haven't researched these guys yet. How's that going? We need cesium. And that one requires a research skill of four. But I can get that. Did I already... Where's my where's my research upgrade? Shit. Where'd I leave it? Expert tech. Ron boost swift boost. Where's my lab tech item? Ah This stuff frustrates me. Where'd I Did I put it shit, where'd I I don't know if I put it in the, the it's right here. God damn it. It's right here in it's right here in my inventory. Ah. Uh, it's hard to keep track of all these things. I, need, I should try to sort these things a little bit, but then I use some of them and then they become unsorted anyway. 
I can, like, try to put some of my ammo together, for example. But there's just so much clutter that I can't tell what's in my inventory sometimes. And then I sound stupid on the internet in front of everyone. <coughs> oh, why now? <clears throat> okay. So, suspend research. Check the other one out real quick. So this one requires CU. Okay. This one requires C CS. Oh, shit. I'm trying to remember what CU is. CS, I believe, is cesium. Never been entirely great at the whole, uh... Wow, he... He doesn't want to fight you if you're in close, in close to him. Show me, tell me more about how much you're an awesome cyborg assassin, huh? Alright, so cesium... And see you. Is that copper? Where is it? Mike. So logs. Chemical manifest. They're both on this floor. Well, let's go on <laughs> our return trip to the same place now. <laughs> oh man, this uh, episode is full of progress. It's fine. It's fine. This is our slow down and take stock of the current situation episode, I guess. Hi there. You can't fight me. I'm too awesome. I guess I'm grinding for currency at this point, somehow. Yeah. This is one of those episodes where we don't make a lot of progress on the map, but I do a bunch of stuff that is forms of progression, I guess. Ah! Oh, it's the one thing that one-shots these guys. Yes. A plus, I love you. Oh. Not always. Not always. Yeah, that'll hopefully make my money back over time. Endure boost. Let's take those with me, just so they're on the floor next to everything else. Alright, so... Lab assistant implants currently on. Copper. It is copper. Why did I think copper wasn't an element? I'm an idiot. I took physical science courses and chemistry courses and mineralogy courses where I researched both chemical and uh, crystalline copper and somehow I'm forgetting what copper is made of. And welcome back. I spared you the time waiting part. Let's see. Let's get Brawn Boost back in there. And let's see the reports on what we've done now. Worm Blood and Worm Mind Implant. Worm Blood Implant, uh, while it's active, you can right click on a pile of worms to heal yourself. The, the implant is a high powered blood filtering and reprocessing unit which acts to modify bloodborne annelid tissue with ben to be benign in a human host. Because of the highly regenerative nature of these annelids, their tissue in conjunction with this implant can be used as a replacement for damaged human tissue. A small insertion port in the implant can be used to import annelid tissue for this use. Recommendation. While under the effect of this implant, discarded annelid tissue such as the found in worm piles can be used as a regenerative effect. Use of annelid tissues in such a fashion while the implant is not powered is strongly discouraged. Huh. So it means that all those worm piles could be used to heal me, which is interesting. Although... You'd have to backtrack to a worm pile in, in some cases. I guess the future areas probably are jam-packed with them, so it's probably something you can do as you're going. Even then, though... It's a weird use for an implant specifically, because implants I think of as like an ongoing status boost, like strength and speed and stuff like that. Having an implant that lets me heal with worms, like, wouldn't I just put the implant in every time I want to heal with the worm and then take it back out immediately so I can go back to not having a, uh, a slot dedicated to worm healing? Unless it's a slow healing process. I assume the other one is side boost. When the user of this implant is damaged, one point of every four points of damage is done is subtracted from side points instead of hit points. So that's interesting. That's interesting. So if I have side points, I can take 
one quarter of my damage there instead of on my health, which is neat, except you have to then maintain your, sty your size status. The implant will alter the user's neural processes, stimulating the and the amplifying the areas related to psionics. Additionally, a steady drip of annelid neurotransmitter chemicals is fed into the user's lower, lower cortex. The overall effect of this is to enhance the user's latent psychocreative abilities, specifically in the area of bodily self-control. The, the user of the implant will be able to psychocreatively heal some portion of damage he takes. Long-term use is likely to cause hyperimmune reaction. Okay, so I'm not using that one, because I don't plan on maintaining any real psi effect. So we're going to run back, I'm going to drop off the lab assistant, the endurance boost, and uh, probably the ex extra implant I'm not going to use. That seems like the way to go now. Alright, and now we run down this hallway for the fourth time of this episode, at the very least. If I'm even counting correctly. It's good to yeah. 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 I don't like them. They have creepy animations, but then they also jump up in your face all creepily, you know. I don't like them. I don't, I don't have a good time with that. Hi there. I Please should find... I should probably find one of these that sells repair kits. Try to relocate the one I used, because I don't remember where it was. Probably could have made a note for that. I I used notes for like one episode, then stopped using them immediately, which I'll totally admit. Sorry. There we go. So shift sprinting is more or less making that possible. But it'd go real bad real fast if they caught me. Because I, uh... I'm trying to carefully strafe around them so I don't take a hit. Because if I take a hit, then I have to deal with healing the uh, poison. But if I can avoid it long enough, then we're in a good space. Off we go, back to the main room. The harmony. No, 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 no. There we go. They're getting aggressive. Oh, weird, the an- the, uh... There we go. That was slightly strange, the, uh... Where's... Right, he's back here. The uh, nanites were in two separate stacks for some reason instead of instead of uh, being a combined stack. Let's see. I don't want you mixing in with my actual stash of stuff because you're like a nonsense item. So it's three over here. All right. There's my my stack of things. There's the endure boost, lab t assistant, worm mind. That's good for inventory space, I think. Got my brown boosts. Alright, so that's a whole bunch of implants I can pick from. A selection of weird random guns. A pistol for some reason. Alright, oh, that's the pistol I had upgraded, is why I kept that around, kind of. Okay, so this is becoming a storage room very quickly. Which I, I do like it as a storage room. Ah, this guy again. Hot! How'd you miss me? Interesting. He seemed to miss me at point blank range. So the, so the discarded guns disappear. No, they don't. There's one right there. I think the other one disappeared, though. So maybe they do have a, a despawn timer if you don't interact with them properly. But all this stuff seems to stay around. Huh. I wonder if there's a flagging system. Like, maybe if you fire a weapon and use it for some amount of time, it becomes a permanent item. But stuff that, that uh, drops off random goons disappears. Because I, I, this area... This floor should be jam-packed with random shotguns everywhere at this point, and it, I feel like it's not. So I think they are despawning. I wonder if there's a priority system for what gets to stay in the world and what doesn't. Interesting.